What is going on y'all? James from Shimmerica Enterprises back here with another tournament vlog. I uh, had one of these tournaments three weeks ago and was gonna make a vlog about it and then I was just really tired after a long weekend of traveling and my back hurt and I honestly bowled like uh, hot garbage and didn't really feel like making a vlog out of that. So that's that. That's the last we're gonna speak of that matter because that was uh, quite frankly terrible. And here we are. Um, I'm headed down to Buffalo Lanes Irwin right now for another tournament. This week we are on the 2021 USBC Open Championships doubles and singles pattern, uh, brought to you by the Alphabet Soup Company. Um, so it, this is a pattern that I actually like pretty well, uh, bowled very well in this pattern in the team event at the Open Championships last summer. Shot my first career 700, uh, shot a 702 with a bunch of three 230 games. Um, so it's a pattern that I like, and it's a center that I like. And the practice session last week felt honestly decent about my ball reaction, at least last week. Um, we, so this is obviously a little bit different, but it was kind of the same general metagame as what I was expecting. Urethane looked pretty good on the fresh, and then once that went away, then I could just kind of move a little left and get into some reactive resin. I've got a phase two and a phase three with me today that should work pretty well for that and just kind of bump it off the friction, use all that urethane shim to keep my ball online. So that's the general game plan. Um, equipment wise, I have mixed it up quite a bit from what I've taken the last few events. Um, with me today, I have a Crux Prime, a Phase 2, a Phase 3, an Obsession Tour, an Electrify Solid, a High Road, a Purple Hammer, and my Spare Ball, and I think that's it. I might have forgotten one, I don't know, whatever. Um, Got a really good variety of equipment there. Um, just kind of trying to mix things up a little bit because I'm also, and this is kind of the other twist that's going to make tonight a little more interesting, is I have been making some uh, some swing changes in the last week or so. Uh, and these are kind of essentially trying to make it a little bit easier for me to just get up and throw the ball even when I don't necessarily have the, have the greatest ball reaction in the world. So I'll show you a quick uh, video of what kind of the before looks like. And now the after. And so you can kind of see there that, especially with the after, like my shoulders are a lot quieter. I'm getting the ball into the, off my hands smoother and faster and into the lane smoother. And it's just generally a, a more repeatable idea. Uh, well, repeatable once I actually build correct habits in for how to actually do this consistently, which that is where this gets a little bit interesting because I don't have those habits yet. So I'm getting, like, if I win tonight, awesome, but I'm not expecting that, if that makes sense. Like, I'm just going to go in and literally take it one shot at a time and whatever happens at the end of the night is what happens and I'll take that and I'll be happy with it. So as long, like, that's the big thing for tonight is keeping myself in it mentally and just taking it one shot at a time and trying to make each shot my best, even though I know that they aren't all going to be my best tonight. Um, so yeah, should be a good time. Um, got some friends, got both of the Lock brothers going to be here. Uh, I know Pat's going to be here. I'm actually driving down to Pat's house to carpool down with him. Um, so yeah, see what we got here.
are back. Um, it's now the next afternoon. I kind of forgot to record mid-tournament commentary for most of this, so here I am. Um, games 1 and 2 honestly went pretty well. Uh, shot 245 game 1, just a bunch of single pins, and then a 190 in game 2. Uh, through the Crux Prime, the first two games, it looked very, very good. Um, second, the pair he went to for game two is a little choppy. I think I just threw a few really not great shots. Um, honestly, at this point of the day, I was pretty happy with how I was bowling, all things considered. Like I mentioned in the, in the uh, introduction, I was not coming in with any grandiose expectations of just running the field over because I knew that my shot to shot was not super great execution wise and that kind of ended up being exactly what the case was. I think I had a couple of perks in this game one actually as I'm thinking about it. So definitely out bold my execution uh, or outscored my execution game one. But still in a pretty good spot. Just kind of trying to stay in the moment and uh, yeah just plug along.
game three was another really solid game. I believe I shot 236, which got me to plus 71 for my first three games. Um, definitely, I, I got into the phase two uh, that game, and I think I had a, mostly a pretty solid game. I believe I split once in game four and game three, but otherwise, just kind of as I as the lane started to develop, and I needed to chase it inside a little bit more. The crux was just starting to feel a touch too slow and like I was having to help it too much so I just went to my phase two to have something that would calm the spot a little more down lane. Um, it worked really well for this game three and then game four was uh, game four was on the low end on five and six before he made the turn up to the high end uh, and that was that was a very tough game. Uh, ended up I think an arrow and a half left of anything else I played on any pair during all of qualifying, uh, pretty much, in game four, or at least anything to that point. It's like game three, I was around third arrow, just kind of slow rolling my phase two and kind of walking it back in. Uh, by the end of game four, I was almost at fifth arrow with my phase three. So that was, the mids were just completely torched on this pair versus everything else, and I ended up having to get really far left. So you can kind of see the progression of me fighting the early friction and just finally getting far enough left and getting some decent ball reaction. And ended up saving 200 even game four, uh, which considering how far off I was at the start of the game, was honestly a pretty solid result. Ended up, yeah, we get two shots each lane, I think. Um, ended up qualifying third after five. With you the guys plus get two balls on each lane for practice. We get uh, two balls in each lane. I get to pull with this goober again. So this is uh, this is Anthony. He's the guy who kept blocking my camera for half of these shots. Okay, bowler. I'm freaking oblivious. Goofball. Yeah, it happens. So two games. Let's get it.
so now we are done. Uh, ended up shooting, was it 15 26 for my seven game total, which was good enough for a third place finish. I believe it missed out on the win by about 40 or 50 pins, somewhere in that range. Uh, had some guys that had some really, really solid days uh, ahead of me, and you know, respect to them, they bowled well. And I honestly was really, really happy with how I bowled and how I stayed in with that, staying in the moment and just making the best shots I could all day. Um, it was definitely hard. Uh, it was definitely focusing. Kind of had to take some of my focus off of my actual ball reaction, just focus on physical execution yesterday. Uh, so that was that was a little hard just to kind of have to reprioritize things mentally, if that makes sense. But ultimately, I think I did a pretty good job of managing things, all things considered. Uh, made a little bit of a profit on the day, so that was always good. And I've almost got the series points total, or series points award locked up. Uh, I'm at 40 points, and the next closest guy is at 31. And there's a maximum of 10 points available per event. There's one event left. So basically, if I get two points, and there's only one person who can even catch me. If I get two points at the finale in three weeks, which is on Python, then uh, I win no matter what else happens. So definitely a solid result overall. Um, pretty much can already check this off, but I've made one of my, that was one of my goals this year, was to get this points title again. Um, and the money that comes with it, which is a nice little bonus. So equipment wise, uh, see I used my Crux Prime the first two games. My phase two, game three, uh, game four where I had to move way left and ball down. I went phase two for like two shots and I threw the obsession tour for a couple shots and then I got into my phase three. And then games five through seven were pretty much all with the Electrify solid. Um, I did get, I got fooled a little bit in warm ups for the cashers rounds. Um, threw my high road for a few, threw my high road in phase three and they both looked really good. And I took a guess on the high road and went uh, super washout, two pin, four, six, seven. And at that point, that's like, okay, wrong ball, I get it. So I ended up going back to my Electrify Solid after that. I think I had like 45 in the fourth. Went back to the Electrify Solid and managed to save a 220. So I was real, or I don't know how the math works, but somewhere along those lines. I had not much early in the game and turned it into something with a uh, five bagger. So that worked out pretty well. And then game seven, I honestly did not throw it that great lanes dried out a little more and I kept I was moving left as I saw that I needed to but also just physical errors I was kind of clamping on it and trying to help it a little more than I should have been and that kind of hurt my ball reaction so even still I had shot 222 and 199 in the cashers round which was one of the higher cashers round scores in the building I think there's only one only one or two people beat me in the last two games at least so it was I know it was a solid day. I missed one, one or two make pulls total on the day, I think. No, three. But I even still, I wasn't on, I wasn't on a house shot. I threw it decently well. I filled most of my frames, and I walked away with some money. So ultimately, I cannot be, ultimately cannot be upset with that in the slightest. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. I can't really think of anything else to add. Um, yeah, just kind of learning and growing each time I go on the lanes right now, which is a really cool feeling to have. Uh, I'm actually on my way to go practice again right now and hopefully kind of build, help work on building up some more of these habits that I've been working on recently. So as always, um, definitely have me know down in the comments if you have any questions. Um, I'm going to do my best to be getting some content out in the next probably two months or so, but I believe I've mentioned on this channel already that I am moving to Kansas City in six weeks. And so it's kind of prepping for that and everything else that's going on in life, I'm just not sure how much time I'm going to have to make the, to make videos, honestly. Uh, so I will try to squeeze in what I can. If I do have videos coming out, then they will usually be on Fridays at noon Eastern, uh, at least until I move, and then they'll probably move to noon Central on, on Fridays. But anyways, um, definitely let me know if you have any questions, comments, um, and yeah, I'll be around when I can, and I'll see, all, see you guys out on the lanes. Good luck and good bowling. Peace.